So in this video, I want to discuss a guy named Jonathan Kim. He's got a meme going around right now where he is, he's already become a Navy SEAL, a Harvard trained doctor, and he's an astronaut. <laughs> all by the age of, I believe, 37. And a lot of people are joking about how they feel like they haven't done anything with their life compared to this guy. And that's a lot, that's powerful. And he also hasn't had a pretty life. He's had some pretty rough experiences. He was just interviewed by Jocko Williams and uh, it was a powerful interview from what I can tell, but I've only seen a 10 minute clip. So this video is gonna be on that 10 minute clip and the stuff I saw and the lessons you can take home from it. And then if you watch to the end of this video, I'm gonna share with you a little thing that he's doing that's causing massive transmutation in his life and causing him to grow so much. And it's something that I started doing later in life because at the beginning of my life, I just didn't get this. And if you learn this secret now, you can radically shift your life. So make sure to stay to the end so you can learn this thing that I call a secret. It's just a thing I kind of learned from one of my teachers that is, uh, it's been life-changing in my life and so many of my clients. I also want to thank Luis for sending me this clip, the 10 minute clip, because I didn't even know there was an interview of this guy. I had only seen the, me the meme, and so Luis, it was awesome. Luis said he watched the full four hours and couldn't get enough of it, so I'll be watching that in the future. And maybe I'll do another video after that. Let's talk about Jonathan, um, Jonathan Kim. Definitely check out the clip. We'll link it somewhere in here. Watch the clip after you watch this video so you can really get a deeper understanding of what I'm talking about. But one of the things I wanna talk about is you guys know I love tension. You know I love stepping into tension, that men should have a powerful relationship to tension, that the masculine's domain is tension, the feminine's domain is emotion and vulnerability and subtle communication. Well, Jonathan Kim was a master of tension at a young age. He became really comfortable, not only with his anger, but his pride and his courage. That's the tension energy. It's like when we talk about emotions, you know, think about it, the heaviest emotion is apathy, depression, sadness, that type of emotion. So it's apathy, then there's grief where you're crying out, and there's fear, there's lust, then there's anger, pride, courage, and then courage, acceptance, love, peace. They go heaviest to lightest when you look at that scale. And Jonathan Kim, at a young age, became very comfortable with his power, his anger, and then his ultimately his pride, the pride of becoming a Navy SEAL, and ultimately his courage to step into and try new things and transmute his energies. And you could see this all in this 10 minute clip. It's so, so powerful to see. And that's where life really begins to change. You see, me, I was a nice guy. I grew up a nice guy. A lot of my clients are nice guys. You might be a nice guy. And a lot of us nice guys get the message at an early age that our anger, pride, and courage is wrong that we shouldn't have anger, pride, and courage, or lusting anger, pride, and courage. We should, and then what that does, it gets us stuck down in apathy, grief, and fear. Because the truth is, is that anger, pride, and courage are powerful, intense energies. I call them the intensity energies. They're all parts of, of being good with tension. And when you master these energies, you can radically shift your life and you can move right up to courage. You can move out of anger and pride very quickly by mastering these energies. And that's what I want to talk about today how he did that. Now at a young age, Jonathan, uh, and this is really sad, he had his father come and mace him and pull a gun out and was gonna kill him and his mom. And through uh, a set of circumstances, uh, he ended up fighting, well, he ended up fighting back. His father bashed him over the head with a weight, he talks about that, and then, uh, and then his father ended up running away and not shooting him, and uh, the police came and ended up shooting his father. It's a rough, uh, rough story, something rough for anybody to go through. And Jonathan became a very angry person. He became comfortable with his anger. And from what I can tell from the video clip, he used a lot of his anger and pride to push forward in life, to become the best that he could, because he really wanted to keep his mother safe. There was a whole story, it sounded like, where he felt like he needed to keep his mother safe from stuff in the world. And so he wanted to really succeed. And he drove forward with that anger, pride, and courage. He became a master of tension. What is a Navy SEAL but somebody who has really mastered tension, that masculine domain at a powerful level. And he thought when he became a Navy SEAL and he felt like he belonged to something, he talks about how that, he thought that was gonna be it, that was gonna solve all his life problems, but it didn't. You know, he got into war and he realized he had a whole new set of problems in war when he started seeing friends die. And that's all in the story too. Definitely check that out because it's so powerful, it's so real. And what you end up realizing is as you become a master of tension, you also need to become comfortable with vulnerability. You see, it's the combo of the two that moves you up into courage, acceptance, love, and peace. You see, the reason tension comes up in the first place, the reason, excuse me, anger comes up in the first place is because it's reacting, it's reactive. It's reacting to some apathy, grief, or fear, or even wanting that you don't wanna feel. So in Jonathan's case, he became very comfortable 
with these and what I call the intensity energies, anger, pride, and courage. Now, to really understand these intensity energies, which are all forms of tension and becoming really good with tension, you gotta understand that I kind of put them all in the same category. You see, anger is just reactive intensity. Pride is win-lose. I'm gonna, there's gonna be a win and there's gonna be a loser. And courage is win-win. We're gonna create a, a win here. Courage is the gateway to true uh, healing, true health, true change in your life. And it's not a far cry from anger. If you can move that reactive anger up to pride and then ultimately up to courage, which is really similar, uh, you move it from, I wanna lash out at you, to ultimately, I'm gonna win, you're gonna lose, to ultimately, we can both win and we can both learn and grow from this. That's when the change begins to happen. And so I had to learn to do this consciously in my life. I had to learn to make this change. I had to learn to make that transmutation and to learn to shift up the emotional scale to courage because it's because once you're in courage it's very easy to move into acceptance it's very easy to begin to find acceptance for the situation and ultimately peace and love which is what jonathan talks about happening in this 10 minute clip he says in the end he was able to look back at the pain of the experience he had with his father and he was ultimately able to come to uh, acceptance over the situation and have love for his father again and he said that was huge for him I've been doing this in my own life. I've been going through all my formative years, and I mean these are my first memories, all the way up to about eight or nine years old, and doing releasing every day. Just going through them with a fine tooth comb again and again, getting out all the apathy, all the anger, all the frustration, all the moments where I didn't feel like I had any power, which there were a lot of. Matter of fact, there wasn't a lot of love in those years. There wasn't a lot of connection. There wasn't a lot of bonding. It was just me feeling like I was kind of alone. And I've been going through that and processing all the deep emotions and welcoming up the anger that was all pushed down because I was a nice guy. I didn't want to feel angry. That, that would just upset people. That would rock the boat. That would cause a problem. And welcoming up all that anger, suddenly experiencing this power, the power to face my fears, the power to face my doubt, the power to face my worry. And in that, that anger quickly turns into courage. And I start to feel the courage transmuting, in a sense, being burned off. And then suddenly I begin to feel a sense of uh, courage and then acceptance. Then ultimately I can move up to love. And I keep doing this for all these early, early memories. And what I'm noticing is more and more joy, more and more happiness, more and more peace in my life. And I think that Jonathan Kim did this, maybe not as conscious, but he did this whole process. And that's why his life changed so much and he's become so successful because I'm seeing nothing but success coming out of my life by doing this process. Now, uh, really quick, if you're liking this video or you're getting any value, uh, I wanna encourage you to like the video, hit that like button, smash it wherever it's at, hit the subscribe button, hit that bell notification so you don't miss any videos and share. Share these videos, it helps us to grow the channel so we can bring you more videos and more awesome content like this. Also comment, make sure to comment in the video. We love your comments, we learn a lot from them. So with that said, let's, let's dive back in. If you begin to understand this, this idea that if you get really good with your anger, which is reactive, then you begin to accept it, which is basically what releasing and revealing is all about. Welcome it, be with it, kind of let the reactivity die out. You can easily move up to a sense, I can do this. I can beat this problem, which is pride. Then you can move, immediately move up to a sense of courage. You know what? If I get past this problem, I can maybe even forgive this person who hurt me, which moves you to win-win, and then even find love for them, which then radically shifts your life and causes a huge transmutation in your life and causes you to grow to the next level. It causes you to, in a sense, like a video game, to level up, to become more powerful, more successful. And I think every nice guy needs to learn this process, needs to experience this for real in his life. Okay, so to understand this process, this is what I was talking about. This is kind of the little process I've been using that's been so successful. When I feel apathy, grief, fear, when I feel doubt and worry, I start welcoming up any anger that might be in response to it. I sit with that apathy or that grief and I start opening my heart. I start welcoming the sense that I'm opening in the chest and the stomach until I feel a reaction in my body. A lot of times it'll start out as a mild frustration. But that frustration will build and if you keep welcoming it, it builds into anger. And if you let it build into anger and you keep working with it, you can start to 
take that anger and notice that anger is typically reactive. There's a sense you want to lash out. Fuck this. I'm not going to do this. Brian's process doesn't work. And if you just sit there and go, wait a minute, anger is just energy. Just be with the energy, welcome the energy, sit with the energy. And then you can start to utilize energy. I start to think of the anger as an army in a sense. I have this army of energy that's coming up inside my body for me to use to feel this grief. Now, not only am I trying to feel this grief, I'm letting go of the trying. I'm like, fuck it, I'm gonna feel the grief. I can handle this. I can handle this pain. I can handle this sadness. I can handle this hurt. Fuck it, I'm gonna deal with it. And the moment I do that, I'm moving up to pride or courage. If I start to say, wait a minute, if I get through this, if I, if I take that intensity and I look for the win-win and I say, wait a minute, as I burn off this anguish, this nervousness, you know what? Not only is my life gonna get better, the people around me are gonna get better. I might have a healthier relationship with, with my mother, my father, my sister, whoever I'm focused on, whoever got the problem with this girl I'm dating. That's when you start to move towards win-win. And then as you start to feel lighter and better, it's an easy climb into acceptance and love. To me, it feels like when I welcome the anger, it's almost like this power builds up inside me and then I imagine a torch, the anger is a torch, and I use it to, instead of to lash out at the person in front of me, or instead of to making the person wrong, or instead of attacking myself, I say, I'm gonna face and feel this problem with an open heart in my body, with an open stomach, fully. And I'm gonna sit with it. And you'll feel weird. You'll feel what we call the law of transmutation. You'll feel a little awkward. You'll feel some stuff coming up. And when it does, you just ride it out like a surfer rides a wave. Law of rhythm, you ride the rhythm of that, those ups and downs. And on the other side, you'll start to feel lighter. At, in the beginning, start with little things, things that cause you pain that are only like a one, two, or three. And then with time, you can start working your way up. I've been working on bigger and bigger things, doing this for a while now, quite a while, and my life is only changing more and more, getting better and better because of it. So I wanna invite you into trying this practice. This is ultimately attention practice. What you're doing is you're learning to get comfortable with your anger, pride, and courage, i.e. tension, and becoming powerful with tension, which is the masculine domain. And as you begin to love your tension skills, you begin to get good at your attention skills. You begin to step into your fear, doubt, and worry with your attention skills. You become more powerful. Now, I want you to think about one more thing. If there is anger in your life or pride or courage, it's only there to compensate for an insecurity. You see, even courage is there to compensate for fear. So otherwise, you'd just be at peace. So I want you to realize that whenever you feel anger, pride, and courage, there's some fear in there. There's some doubt. There's some worry. There's some lower emotion. And just like a nut has some meat inside or a hose has water inside, if you can relax that anger a little bit and look inside, you'll notice what it's protecting you from. And if you go at it from this direction, you can start to, once you notice it, you can start to use it to process that, that same idea. Like imagine the anger is like a torch and now you're, you're relaxing it a bit so you can see what's inside of it, the fear, the doubt, the worry, and then you use it to burn off the fear, doubt, and worry. What so many people do that's a big mistake is they feel the anger and then they're not supposed to feel anger so they shut it down completely and all they're left with is the fear, doubt, and worry. It's when the two get in perfect balance that the transmutation happens. That's flow state. When you get into perfect balance between your vulnerability and your anger, you convert up to cap. You start moving towards courage or above and your whole life changes. Now I've covered it a few different ways. Hopefully you got the idea of this message. Um, definitely watch this clip with uh, Jonathan Kim. It's a powerful clip. And try this out. Try it out. Let me know if you understand it. Let me know if you get it. Put some comments in the video. Definitely want to hear that. And uh, for the next video, I, I want to link in here a couple other videos for you to watch to really understand this better. Definitely check this video out. It's a video on tension I did many years ago. It's a different explanation of tension. It just gives you a, a deeper understanding of what it is to be a master of tension and then how to use these energies to cause this transmutation faster and better and how it's happening, happening all through nature at a natural level. So check that video out, it'll be somewhere in this clip. And then also I've got a video on being proactive versus reactive, which will really help you to, to kind of put this all together and understand what we're doing here. So definitely check those videos out. Check out this Daniel Kim video, the 10 minute clip with Jocko Williams. If you can watch the four hour video, make sure to like, subscribe, make sure to hit the bell notification, make sure to comment, make sure to share to help us grow the channel so we can bring you more videos. And remember, only the confident really live. See you in the next video.